night for the first time we are seeing video from inside Robb Elementary School. It sheds light on the police response to that mass shooting that left 19 children and two teachers dead. Our sister station KVU in Austin originally obtained the video and many, many people in Texas and across the country wanted these videos out as they call for accountability and seek answers. People have been desperate to learn what happened inside that school. KVU and our sister station in San Antonio have been in contact with some of the victims' families. All but one said that they are in support of this video being released. Now this video, it is hard to watch. You will see a gunman walk down the hallway. You will hear gunfire. You will also see a small army of law enforcement officers wait in that hallway for more than an hour before finally making it into that classroom. There are also some things that we are choosing not to show. You will not see anyone being shot. You will not hear the screams of the victims. You will not see any blood or gore. And parts of this video have been blurred out of sensitivity for the victims and their families. And we know this is going to be very difficult for some people to watch. So we do want to warn you that this video may be disturbing. In this video, you can see the shooter turns the corner in the hallway, goes to the classroom and starts shooting. A young boy almost walks down the hallway, but stops and runs back when the shooting starts. The video shows the gunman start shooting toward the classroom before walking in. Now the next video we're going to look at is when the first officers arrive on scene about three minutes after the gunman. Officers arrive and try to confront the shooter. They scatter when met with gunfire and retreat back to the end of the hallway. They'll stay there for the next 45 minutes. Now this is a time lapse, meaning we've sped it up because not a lot happens for the next period of time. You can see at the corner of this video from 1137 to 1222 real time, officers gathered at the end of the hallway. No shots are fired during this time. More and more manpower and equipment arrives, including more rifles, more ballistic shields and gas canisters. At this point, officers have been outside for about 45 minutes. Then there's another short burst of gunfire coming from the classroom, and that seems to escalate things. So they hear a new round of gunfire the first time in about 45 minutes. They advance down the hall. It looks like they're getting close to some kind of action. However, they would stall there for another 30 minutes. This is another time lapse from the time after they reposition. More heavily armored and armored personnel come in along with more equipment. And once they finally go in, it's over pretty quickly. Officers finally move into the classroom and take out the shooter. It took more than 70 minutes for officers to get inside that classroom. And there have been calls for all parts of government and law enforcement to release this audio and video to the public. Just yesterday, the Texas Department of Public Safety and the head of the Texas House Committee are looking into the shooting. 
and families of the victims have also been marching in the streets calling for more transparency. I, I watched it, uh, the whole clip that they showed, we, we all have. And it's, it, it's heartbreaking because now we're, we relive this every day and now, now we're gonna hear it, not just relive it. It's, it's a continuous thing that all, all that happened by leaking it out is, it was just devastating for us. It, we're tired of seeing things after the media gets a hold of them. Nobody is telling us anything, and it's, it's disrespectful to not just us, but our kids' memories.